The party that controls the White House usually loses seats in Congress during the midterm elections. And this year, Democrats are defending both chambers. At a town hall today in Baldwin County, Republican Congressman Jerry Carl said he is confident candidates for both House and Senate seats in Alabama will prevail. NBC 15's James Gordon was at that town hall, too. And James Carl is looking to ride the red wave. That's right, Kim and Greg. You know, Carl says he's not expecting any opponents, at least not anyone from his own party. How time flies. Congressman Jerry Carl's two-year term is almost up, and he intends to keep his job. You'll see me if I don't draw an opponent. Uh, you'll see me working in other districts and other states trying to convert those over to, to Republicans. Carl, who spoke mostly to his base at today's town hall, says the fight to regain Congress has already started. I've got some very close friends of the Democrats who are telling me they won't be reelected by their own people. They know that because of some choices they've had to follow Nancy Pelosi off this, this bridge. Mm -hmm. Literally, I mean, they, and, and it's, it's, it'll show up in 2022. We can't take that for granted as a Republican Party. We've got to get out and work. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced Tuesday she will seek re-election, ending speculation that she would retire. Carl says the Speaker's determination could be a liability to Democrats. We're anticipating a good 2022 and even a stronger 2024. Please don't ask me to tell you who I think president's going to be because I don't know. That's, that's a long ways away in, in, in a political life. Now, the focus right now, of course, is on the midterms. Carl says Republicans are already working on an agenda that includes immigration, the economy, supply chain issues, and more money for law enforcement. For now, we're live in Baldwin County. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.